Howdy folks, it's the Creepy Kentuckian here with you from Dead Pit Radio. Today we have a very interesting title. This one came out recently from our good friends over at Severin Films in 4K UHD for the very first time. This is a pretty gigantic cult movie from the early 80s. One that's on plenty of people's guilty pleasure list and is another that I'm sure that you guys are going to want to pick up in 4k UHD this is a movie that I don't think we've ever given a proper review for up until today because finally we are taking a look at Butcher Baker Nightmare Maker Severin Films release this. It's available now as a side exclusive on SeverinFilms.com. It's also coming to the UK for the very first time officially in May. So you can look forward to that. We're going to talk about the movie. We're going to talk about all the special features and everything and just how crazy this film is. This is one, guys, that you'll definitely want to stay tuned for because it is, of course, The Butcher the Baker, the Nightmare Maker. Butcher Baker, Nightmare Maker from 1981, directed by William Asher. It's about young Billy who has been raised by his Aunt Cheryl, played by Susan Terrell, since the age of three, when young Billy's parents died in a tragic car accident. Fast forward 14 years later, Billy is a basketball star at his local high school. He's ready to graduate, leave town on a basketball scholarship, go away with his young girlfriend and just live happily ever after. And Aunt Cheryl doesn't like that idea. She's kind of obsessed with Billy, doesn't want him to leave her and will do whatever it takes to keep him around. She is not a big fan of of his girlfriend Julie, played by Julia Duffy from New Heart and Designing Women fame. Yes, the same girl. As the movie goes along, Billy and his aunt are implicated in the local murder of a TV repairman, which locals are suspecting Billy of the murder, not realizing how deranged Aunt Cheryl is. So that is Butcher Baker Nightmare Maker, kind of sets it up for you. Now this movie had a couple of different names, Night Warning, The Evil Protege, etc. Butcher Baker Nightmare Maker is a great name for it though. It's actually very catchy and it's like, huh, well that's unusual, especially for the time period that it was released. Now, this isn't the craziest gory movie that you've ever seen. It was one of the video nasties but uh, that list is confusing as hell. I mean, I don't know if we'll ever talk about it on the show or anything. But yeah, I mean, there's nothing really like crazy gratuitous in Butcher Baker Nightmare Maker. My opinion, the reason the movie works so well is Aunt Cheryl herself. Susan Terrell's performance in this is really the only memorable thing in the movie. And it's very memorable. She does a great job playing a psychopath. And it's a shame that she didn't do more genre stuff. It seems like she was really having a lot of fun with this performance, playing the crazed Aunt Cheryl. Bo Sensen is also in this, playing the asshole Detective Carlson, who really throws out crazy theories throughout the movie and never backs off of those, right? So he's kind of that character. He does a great job, though. Very big, brooding Bo Vinson is always fun to watch. This was released in 81. William Asher, who's a TV director, I think he did episodes of Bewitched, The Dukes of Hazard, stuff like that, um, didn't really do any other genre stuff that was really that known. And this movie was on a lot of people's lists for many years to check out, like obscure horror movie lists. I know for many years... This thing wasn't out on anything. I believe Code Red DVD 
did a DVD of this and then later a Blu-ray. Uh, but this was like in the late 2000s, I think. So for many years, this movie was pretty difficult to track down. Uh, Severin Films brings us this deluxe two-disc 4K UHD edition. Uh, for the very first time, they've given deluxe treatment to this. Now, this is very nice. Look at the spot gloss slip cover there. This is similar to the Vinegar Syndrome style slip covers, which Severin has done some of those as well. Or look at the packaging in this too. Um, there is reversible cover art on this. I think this, I think this artwork right here is when it was known as Night Warning, which was a re-release title. And you got the 4K UHD and the Blu-ray, which has primarily most of the special features on it. We'll talk about that here in a second as well. The reversible artwork is yet another alternate title for this movie, simply known as Nightmare Maker. Hmm. But yeah, I mean, as far as the movie itself, this movie is a whole hell of a lot of fun, guys. I love this movie, actually. This was... I remember years ago when I finally saw this for the first time, I didn't know what to make of it. I didn't know what type of movie it really was. And then initial viewings after initial viewings and rewatching this thing, this is a whole hell of a lot of fun. Great performance from Susan Terrell in this. Uh, just a fun, goofy sort of movie. Um, plays well with friends and stuff as well. Good psychological horror. There's some goofy shit thrown in too, which is always fun. Uh, but this particular edition is loaded up with special features from Severn Films. Included is three separate audio commentary tracks in the movie. One with the star Jimmy McNichol. Another separate audio commentary track with co-writer producer Steve Beimer and co-writer Alan J. Gluckman, moderated by Mondo Digital's Nathaniel Thompson. The third commentary with co-producer and unit production manager Eugene Mazzola. There is a theatrical trailer, Extreme Prejudice, an interview with actor Bo Svensson, Point and Shoot, an interview with director of photography Robbie Greenberg, Family Dynamics, an interview with editor Ted Nicolau, cast and crew interviews with the actors Susan Terrell, Jimmy McNichol, Steve Easton, makeup artist Alan A. Apone, and producer Steve Brimmer. All right, guys, so that is Butcher Baker Nightmare Maker. It is out now. Go check it out. SeverinFilms.com. They're good buddies. We love them. And be sure to check us out. We are over at DeadPit.com. Thumbs up. Off you butts. Like, subscribe. And if you subscribe, here's something else you can do. Once you subscribe, you can click the bell notification, right? And it'll notify you anytime that Dead Pit puts up new shit. Or don't. I really don't give a fuck. I don't want you to. I want you to. <laughs> I don't care. Let's keep our community growing here on YouTube. I don't, I don't like it. I don't want you to do nothing. Listen, they need to do that. Pal. No, don't you dare do it. Thumbs up. Click that bell. There's all kinds of wonderful shirts over at shop.deadpits.com. Simply the best horror shirts on T Public. There are others, but they all suck. You can get some Dead Pit Radio shirts. You can get Last South on the left. The Hills have eyes. Texas Chainsaw. Oh, wait, you can't say Texas Chainsaw. All kinds of shirts, folks. You're going to love them. Shop.deadpit.com Thank you to all of our supporters on Patreon. Deadpit on Patreon.com is the only place to check out a complete archive of the old Dead Pit radio shows all the way back from 2005 on, in addition to the midweek shows, fan commentaries, exclusive podcasts, and much more. Dead Pit on Patreon.com if you're interested. Tiers start at only $1.